Stuff 23 here in today's night therapy. I got some more new Kaisers and they dropped some heat again. I they <laughs> I always think they can't outdo themselves anymore and they always shock me. Uh, so we got several to show. Two brand new models that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, let's get started with this one first. This is the new Kaiser uh, Towser S, I think it is. Let's see, where is it at? The, the Towser S, S, yeah. Uh, it's a dual collaboration there. You can see with Azo and I forget the other uh, designer. It's uh, pretty cool. I'll tell you what. Now, I think that this this one right here is the reason why the button lock, uh, the mini button lock Towser K or whatever uh, wasn't shortened up because here's the, I think it's the mini Towser K button lock. As you can see, it's a good bit bigger because you have a lot more handle. Uh, this one's gonna be a lot easier to pocket. I tell you, I love this little this button lock one. Hopefully, they do more of these, uh, or at least uh, in like you know the standard versions like this. Uh, I think it would be super popular. But I tell you, this one's super nice as well. I get a nice, beautiful grip on there with that choke up spot right here. Very, very comfortable back here so far. This is initially, I haven't done any of my testing with it. You got jipping almost to the end. If, you like, if you're a jipping guy, they, they, they got you covered up here. It's not super aggressive on this um, black wash blade, but it's, you know, it does a little good. 154 CM, a deep carry pocket clip, flow through construction. Now it's tip up, right hand carry only. Super smooth action, very smooth action. Pretty sure it comes in uh, a satin version or stone wash or something like that as well. Here it is, let's see, put that one up there or leave that one there. Here's the, the regular Towser case so you can have a size reference in between the, the regular and this is the, I think, Mini. If I, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, this is the one White Mountain Knives exclusive. Uh, yeah, love to hear y'all thoughts on, you know, which size you like. If you like the Towser K, which size is your favorite uh, that they have? Do you, are you going to go for this one? Do you have this one? Or do you like the original one? It's hard for me to choose. Uh, lately, I probably would have to say I go to this one the most. But this one's still new. Never know. Um, I don't know. They're both, they're all excellent knives. That's, that's you know... That's, the Towser's one of my favorite Kaisers, so. All right, now this next one, I, I kind of caught a glimpse of it at Blade Show, and I've been excited for it ever since, and that is the XL Feist. And this is the Premium XL Feist with the Purple Fat Carbon. I don't know what I got. I got something on my scales. I was carrying it uh, yesterday, and I can't get it off. I'll, I'll have to worry about that after the video. But like I said, this is the premium one. They will have a um, a you know more affordable one that is in 154 cm and micarta, and I think maybe even G10. But I'll tell you, this is how I always wish I could get the Feist. And I love the Feist for its compact, you know, gents carry style. But I always wanted one that was bigger as well. And when Justin uh, dropped this, like you know, showed this on his uh, Instagram, and then he had some at Blade Show. It was super, super cool seeing them, and I've been wanting one ever since. This is this is the size difference. It's a lot bigger than the original one. Let's see. There's pivot to pivot for you. So as you can see, there's a good bit of difference. So if the original one was too small for your hands, then you know I think this one's going to be just right for you. Um, it'll fit probably just about everybody's hands because look. Let me choke all the way up. That's a lot of handle I have left. If I, I can choke all the way back. Uh, this premium one is in 20 CV. Yeah, see, I got this all over here. I, I think it came from my pocket. Don't know. <laughs> uh, deep carry pocket clip. Now, uh, these are tip up right hand. It looks carry only. Is that how these were? Yeah, just like on the original one. Such a good uh, knife. You you have a nice, beautiful crown spine on these. I love that they went with these. As I mean, with the uh, black wash instead of just a flat black. I think the black looks good with the purple, and I'm sure the purple, that vibrant purple, is not 
coming out that well through my camera, but just, just trust me, it's beautiful here. Man, I don't know, what could I have gotten on there? I don't know, not the end of the world, I can get that off, I'm sure, but beautiful handle scale material. Not a, you know, carbon fiber is usually not my go-to choice of material, but these fat carbons are so good looking. Uh, some of them I, I, I don't really care for too much, but there's one of them that I'm about to show y'all that I absolutely love. And I think this is going to be a super popular knife for them because the, the regular Feist was super popular and this is a bigger version. Uh, if you, do any of y'all plan on getting one of these premium ones or whenever the... Uh, Regular 154CM ones come out. Do you plan on getting one of those? The action is incredible on this one. All right, next up, let's see. Let's go to the, okay, now these are just their, the premium ones in these designs. So here we go. We have a Kaiser Original with this uh, gold-like fat carbon on there, kind of like on my uh, Jack Wolf Venom Jack. Beautiful material. It just looks it looks rich. Lots of gold in this one. You can see the gold. Well, hopefully you can see it as good as I can. I, there's not a whole lot of black in it. I like it because I don't love uh, the fat carbons when the color, like when the the material, the other material besides the black, doesn't really show through through. And I do have one knife that's kind of like that. So this one is this one has a black wash blade. It's in 20 CV and a mill titanium pocket clip. Ridiculously smooth action. And this thing is an absolute featherweight. I had this one in the pocket today and I totally forgot. It, it, I have lightweight charts on right now because it's hot here in Louisiana. And um, I totally forgot I had this knife on me. So yeah, super, super lightweight. And stunning. All right. Well, next up, this is another one that I got. Well, let's go. To, let's go to this one. This is a pretty exciting one. That is the Towser K in the blue. I think it's Arctic Storm. Look, there's the material. Now, this is what I was talking about. There's only a few spots of the blue that are kind of popping through. When this material has a lot of that blue, it is just stunning material. I have that Hogue deck. I have that my subscriber gave to me um, has a lot of that dark, that blue in there. Blue's my favorite color, but you don't get a whole lot of those like that. You have that milled titanium pocket clip on this one. And this one is in L Max. They got a nice, beautiful stone wash. I love Kaiser stone wash. Very, very attractive stone wash in my opinion. Um, of course, the, the beautiful uh, Towser K action. Love it. Awesome, awesome. Definitely like this one. Um, I like the fact that they, they added the mill titanium clip to it. Uh, and I, I want to try out their L Max and see uh, how it is. Because I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but because I can't remember if any of these have L Max on them. But uh, L Max is a very finicky steel to heat treat. It, it has a very small, small HRC window that you got to hit to, you know, get good results out of it. So I'll be interested to see how this one is done. I might have to send it to Transparent Knives or something to to poke it and see what the HRC comes out on it. But I'll, I'll be doing some testing on it anyway. Awesome. All right, so let's see. The next two are probably like, I love these knives and I've been bonding with them a lot more. Next up, we have the Kaiser Hiccup, and I think it's the same material as this one. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's that same um, gold, uh, what is it, dark matter or something, carbon, uh, fat carbon. But the other difference is on this one, well, I guess these are all numbered. Is that number nine? It, it comes with a, another mill titanium pocket clip, which these work really well. They're a little thin back here, but they work really well. And uh, S35VN on this one. Beautiful stone wash once again. I love that hiccup. I love that blade. Uh, excellent, excellent action. This is the top flipper. Here's the, the original one that they came out with. Probably my most 
carried of the two. I had the Rich Light one as well. This one is just ridiculously smooth. 154 cm, S35. You can't go wrong with either one of these. Uh, now, the price was a little bit more than I liked this one to be whenever uh, the last time I checked. I'm not sure what they are now. I'm not sure what these are. Now, these, I think, I, I want to say, if I read correctly, I think these will be available on the 8th, okay? I will have links down below. You you can pick up some of these on Amazon. If you're interested, if you got Amazon Prime, I saw some of these are available, and you'll get, a, you'll get it on the 8th probably. All right, last but certainly not least, probably my favorite of the materials of all the, the, the fat carbons that I have right now, and that is in this Kaiser Camorant. I love the Nebula material. I love blue. I love that that pop of white and red. You know, it, I think it, it's because I was born in the 80s, and I think that, that this material just brings me back to that. I have some other material that I think is called 80-something carbon fiber from Camo Carbon, and it's just as stunning, but I love this material. I love how it has the red, white, and blue uh, on the side like that. I think it's so good looking. And it's, it, it screams, America. So, and this one is also an L Max with a black wash blade with that yummy hollow grind. I probably, this one's probably my funnest to test because of how, you know, thinly, this hollow comes down. It's not, you know, ridiculously thin, but it's more than the the, uh, the Towser K. So I think I'll probably start testing this one because I'm sure that one will make it in the pocket a whole lot. So yeah, that that's the new ones that are dropping here soon. The Syrup series that I did uh, the other day is available. I'm pretty sure now. If I if not, it's gonna be here soon. Um, Definitely check out the, the new Kaiser S. Super cool uh, smaller knife if you're into smaller knives. And the one, like I said, that I am super stoked about, the uh, Feist XL. This, I think this one's going to be super, super popular. Uh, probably more so if I had to take a guess with the Micarta just because it's a more, you know, more affordable line. And I that's fine. You know, I... I'll be honest, I I usually buy them, I, I, I usually go for my Carta before I go for any kind of carbon fiber, just because it works better with my hands. I don't have great dexterity, so definitely Kaiser is uh, kicking butt and taking names. Uh, they just have been on the move this year. Definitely, probably, I mean, they're definitely by far... I would have to say I've dropped the most knives, new knives, not always new models, but new knives in 2022, hands down. Uh, I don't know of any other company that dropped as many as they did. And awesome, awesome ones. They either use new steels, new handle materials, new cool stuff. They're always willing to try new stuff, and I love it. Go with more hollow grinds, Kaiser. Y'all do great job on hollow grinds. Y'all need to, anybody who's wanting that, y'all need to voice that opinion more in the comments and, you know, y'all videos, they will they will listen. They do a good job of it. All right, there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing, amazing day. I'm almost better. My nose is still a little stopped up. Once I am, I will do this giveaway. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.